My name is Carly Town and I'm one of the national co-directors at Code Pink. I want to talk today about why notorious for profiteer Lockheed Martin is currently working overtime to make sure that a bill that would fund health care, education, and green jobs doesn't pass and what we can do about it. So you might have heard that Congress is currently debating something called reconciliation. And what that is, is legislation that would spend $3.5 trillion over the next decade to fund things like education, healthcare, green jobs, things that we actually need as a society. Some senators wanna make this conversation about how we just can't afford to spend that much money over the next decade, right? Some even going as far as to say as it's fiscally insane to spend $3.5 trillion over a decade. However, what these senators and companies like Lockheed Martin who are lobbying against this bill will not tell you is that two weeks ago, uh, the House of Representatives passed in a bipartisan overwhelming majority, a $780 billion Pentagon budget. $780 billion over the next 10 years is equal to over $8 trillion, double what Congress is currently debating in the reconciliation package and double what senators like Joe Manchin deem fiscally insane. So what's the deal, right? Why was $8 trillion fine two weeks ago? But when it comes to talking about funding things like healthcare and education, it's all of a sudden we can't afford to spend $3.5 trillion. Well, it's not just about hypocrisy, right? We have to look at what this legislation actually does to find out why Senators John Manchin, Kirsten Sinema, and their Republican colleagues do not like about this legislation. To understand this hypocrisy, we have to look at the legislation, right? Over half of the $780 billion Pentagon budget will go directly into the pockets of private war profiteers like Lockheed Martin that are lobbying Congress to pass an increased Pentagon budget every year and at the same time are lobbying our representatives to not pass a reconciliation bill that will increase the corporate taxes. So when Senators Sinema and Manchin cynically ask us how we'll be able to pay for healthcare and education, we have a simple answer. We want to cut the Pentagon for people, peace, planet, and a future. Earlier this year, Representative Barbara Lee introduced a House resolution to cut the Pentagon budget by $350 billion, which happens to be equivalent to the same amount of annual funding for the reconciliation package that's currently being debated in Congress. We know that war profiteers and corporate Democrats don't want you to know that we do have the money to spend on healthcare, education, and green jobs. We just need to cut the Pentagon and reinvest in life-affirming programs. You can go to www.cutthepentagon.com to learn more and join the movement.